Recently, wagers have become a trend that's picking up steam amongst pro players. These money matches are a popular way for them to just practice their skills against some of the finest in the world. You know, all while sprinkling a dash of excitement on the side. Who likes that? But it often gets asked, who is the best when it comes to wagers? Mm. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. Hey, I just want to let you know right now that if you're worrying or if you're anxious about like anything in your life right now, it really does not do anything for you. Like stressing out over something does not add anything to your life. It doesn't add any benefit to you in any way. So whether you're stressing or whether you're just worrying about things at your job or at school or with friends or even playing this game, like man, you can only control what you can control, and everything else, man, you just gotta just. Surrender it, man. You just got to let it go and just know that you just have to take one day at a time. I just want to encourage you, man, to keep going, keep striving, man. Keep being filled with just positivity, man, because this is your year. You guys ready for that? Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. So we're about to bring you guys the list for the top six wager warriors. This video, in our opinion, is on who we think is the best when it comes to betting on 1v1s, box fights, or even zone wars. So I want you guys to strap yourselves in, all right, because you're about to see some absolute Absolute gaming warlords. All right, so before we start, I gotta ask you this. All right, do you guys watch pros when they wager? Personally, you know, I find it pretty enjoyable myself. When there's money on the line, you know, everyone tries their hardest, all right? You don't play with somebody's money. You don't do that. Plus, emotions sometimes get involved with that, which can make for an entertaining experience. So, would you rather watch your favorite pros play wagers or BR matches? Let us know in the comments down below. If you guys are tired of getting outplayed and looking to sharpen your Fortnite skills, all right, we got you covered. ProGuys.com is the number one way to improve your skills. We offer on-demand coaching with some of the best players in the world. If you sign up for our membership, you're going to get access to exclusive content from players like Benji, Kaz, and Mongrel. Click the link in the description to visit ProGuys.com, and you're going to start your journey to greatness. Also, hit that like button to show your support. It's about that time. Sit back, relax, and grab my favorite candy. Don't get tired of it yet, because it's just getting good. That bunch of crunch, and let's do this. All right, so coming in at number six, we got Zane. I feel like, you know, we're going to get a lot of flack for putting this guy here since I'm sure most of you guys have heard this guy before, and he's generally known on YouTube by many as one of the most toxic players out there. And from watching him, I mean... Yeah, I think you got a point. You can definitely see why, but whether you love him or whether you hate him, there's no denying that this dude got skills. And if he didn't, there's just no way that he would have made such a name for himself by continually beating well-known pros. So a significant point brought up whenever discussing Zayn's ability is his usage of traps. Before any wager battle even happens, both players need to agree upon the items being used, and Zayn generally prefers to include a lot of traps. Why? Why, Zayn? Why? Well, all you need to do is just watch him play and you're gonna find out why. His general strategy with using them is to get near his opponent and then box them in. Then of course, place traps whenever he can. Most players are not even used to traps and waders, so you could say that they're being caught off guard. But again, everyone agrees to the rules beforehand, you know what I mean? So there should be no surprises. But beyond his trap uses for being a controller player, Zayn has some excellent building mechanics. He knows how to gain height quickly, read his opponents, and react appropriately. And as of lately, pretty much everyone knows his traps are his forte, so most vote against using them when facing him. But even with that, he ends up still doing pretty well. If it weren't for his extremely toxic attitude, which we all see, all right, Zayn would probably be looked up to a whole lot more. Maybe that's just part of an act that he uses to just get into his opponent's head. Who knows? Hopefully, he can reform and he can redeem himself. All right, guys, so next at number five, it's the controller legend himself, none other than Sway. There isn't really much to say about Sway that hasn't been said already. When we recently matched him against Mongra in one of our recent videos, the one thing that we mentioned that the most of you guys already know is just how dominant Sway is in 1v1 battles, which, of course, is one of the most popular forms of wagering that we see players do. I guess what we're really trying to say is, is like Sway is just unreal at wagers. So just how good is this guy? I mean, the dude's name became synonymous with any sort of crazy building technique, right? Probably because he set the path for so many of them. He'll use those crazy moves to retake height so unexpectedly. His opponents never seem to know how to react. So when we were doing our research on Sway, we found a past broadcast of his where he ran a 2v2 Storm War Wagers. Over the five hour stream, all right, check this out. Many tried to take Sway and his teammate X down. In fact, 30 people attempted, but none managed to do it. Yeah, that's right, this guy went 30 and 0. 
which is just like outright staggering when you really think about it, man. Even though he was just messing around for the most part, anytime they were even close to losing, Sway would just be like, no, mm -mm, let's just turn it up a notch. And then they fragged out. He really showed the entire world that it doesn't matter if you're on a controller. If you're cracked enough, hey, you can keep up. So moving on to the next, number four, it's World Cup solo winner and Fortnite icon. Come on now, you already know. Booga, Mr. Gearsdorf. Okay, so he won millions of dollars by proving to everybody like on this planet, he's the best Fortnite VR player. He's perfected landings, rotations, tunneling, and all the other things that you need to be successful on this huge island. Of course, he spent ample time fighting in Creative 2, turning into one of the most deadly build battlers, box fighters, and all around wager players out there. Turns out that uh, Booga's not the biggest fan of playground fighting. No, 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 he's not. So uh, you don't really see him wager too often, but when he does, the results are, as expected, spectacular. Of course, in build battles, his nutty mechanics play a really huge role. With how rapidly he builds, I swear, guys, you think that he plays with some like ridiculously high sensitivity, like 3,000 DPI or something like that. But it's nowhere near that high. He's just got this quick movement and control that we just really don't see with other players. Recently, Booga's been playing more team-based waders in Zone Wars and box fighting. Since, of course, the FNCS is squads right now, it gives him a bit more of a chance to develop his teamwork and communication skills. And boy, my goodness. And I want to say holy moly does this show when you watch him play. Like with his footage right here, and I mean like right here, Booga goes up against Sway's wager trio. The way Booga worked with his team making calls, attacking from opposite angles, and sticking together really made us just want Zone Wars to just come back. And while it was a close match, it concluded with Sway's win streak ending and Booga's team winning the prize. For the number three spot, we've got Landjock probably the most underrated player on our list. If you know Landjock, it's probably due to his successful competitive career. He and his duo Punisher qualify for the World Cup Finals, and his achievements go all the way back to the first significant events ever held. To this day, oh my gosh, this guy still plays competitively. Like, when he's not practicing for squads or like making money in the cash cups, you can typically find him hosting wagers on stream. If you follow the wager scene at all, then you guys already know what I'm talking about. You're gonna know that Landjock is among some of the most feared names out there. His building skills are top tier. His knowledge of retakes and combos are just outstanding. And to top it all off, the way he executes every move and build with such precision sets this guy apart from like nearly everybody. Landjock not only has the brawn to be a top wager player, but this guy also has the brains. When he's holding high ground, which is like 90% of the time, he doesn't just take any high-risk moves. Unless he gets his opponent low on HP, he holds his advantage, and he always looks for the right moment. Whether it's just setting up a deadly combo or slowly dealing chip damage to deplete their health bar, he always plays the setup for the win. Seriously, man, the way this guy builds is so technical. When watching him, we had to do like a double take like every now and then, like, what? If there's a keyboard and a mouse equivalent to Sway, it'll probably be Landjock. Very smooth movement, incredible technique and overall some of the fanciest plays you're gonna ever see all right guys so taking the silver medal it's team liquid's latest signing stretch stretch has been involved with the competitive scene for a while now he really blew up around season 10 when he started playing with booga and he just got some consistent results and now pretty much anytime you check this guy out on his twitch channel it's wagers that he's streaming you know, what we love about Stretch is how precise his building is. It's not like too erratic or anything like that. You know, he's practical and quick, which is a style that most of us should aspire to achieve. And compared to some other people, man, he doesn't really incorporate too many ridiculous techniques into his arsenal. Sure, you know, sometimes he'll bust them out, but often we're seeing him execute only a few moves and retakes since that's all he needs. And when it comes down to winning a 1v1, what matters the most is landing your shots which is 100% of what Stretch can do. If someone builds on top of him, he doesn't panic or die trying to find a way out. He knows if he keeps his gun out, he can land the juicy headshot and win the trade. You know, most people talk about building mechanics, but his aim plays has a massive part in how effective he is as a player. Or even in other situations like, you know, for example, if Stretch has his opponent scampering, trying to build up to his level, he's always going to find a way to sneak in a shot. If he can't, he'll often go for the finish with his builds. Another thing we see Stretch excelling in, whether it's with a ramp or floor or even a pyramid combo, any opportunity he's given to block the enemy and go for the quick edit play, yo, the dude's going to take. 
Finally, taking our number one spot, ladies and gentlemen, it's Clix himself. Clix is the epitome of a wager warrior. Come on now, you already know that. In fact, you could call him the wager king. As a competitor, he's of course is very accomplished with earnings totaling over $200,000. Clix, can I just borrow like $20, man? Please, come on. As for how much he's made from the wagers, we don't even know exactly, but every single time we see him open the stream, he usually is hosting them, racking up win after win after win against whoever wants a piece of them. So we can guess he's probably earned thousands. Why Clix is so successful has to do in part with his play style. He approaches waiters in a way that, like, not many others do. First off, his 1v1 start is the definition of effective. All right, so it's quick, it's safe, and allows him to take the height almost every single time. When he does take control of the high ground, he plays it safe. No accidental drops or aggressive plays. He knows that his opponents can retake at almost any time. So he plays it patiently and he just waits for the right opportunities. If he can't get control of height, all right, you're gonna see one of two things. He's gonna crank a high ground retake to confuse the enemy and regain control. Or he's gonna play the low ground. He's gonna take quick peeks for considerable chip damage. Really, he just seems to do whatever the situation calls for. While Click's main strength is 1v1 build battles, he's no slouch at box fighting either, man. So you're often gonna see him take those wagers, usually with teammates, and also be an utterly dominant force. If you guys need any more evidence that Clix is the undisputed wager king, all right, you can look at the results from both the Congardner's Wednesday Wagers tournaments a few months ago. In both weeks, Clix went against 15 other top 1v1ers, including a couple that made the list today. In the first event, he came first. Okay, well, was that a fluke? No, it wasn't. The second week, he grabbed the first place prize again, proving at the moment that this guy is the best. Anyways, that was our list for who we think are the most prominent wager warriors. The term warrior, you know, it gets thrown around a lot of the time. And it's just an insult, but it's a compliment in this sense. So, don't get us wrong, all these players are outright beasts when it comes to just battling it out for cash. All right, guys, once again, it's the Motivation Guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep going, man. Don't give up. Don't surrender. Know that each day, hey, it's going to come with some challenges, but you can overcome it, all right? Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I believe in you guys, all right? We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to help us out and just like the video. You know, it really goes a long way because we aim to release quality videos every day. So if you want to make sure that you're kept up to date on all things Fortnite, you got to hit that subscribe button, man, and make sure to enable notifications notifications, all right? We really hope you enjoy this and don't forget to use code PROGUYS when you make any sort of purchases because it just really helps us out and we really, really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and what you'd like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, you know, so it, it goes a long way. Subscribe to the channel once again. We'll see you guys next time.